everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. This week I am featuring the Lighting the Way bundle from the Stampin' Up! Uh, Spring 2023 mini catalog. It's a great set. I've got lots of projects for you. So if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link to go back to my blog. This card has some layering diorama shapes in here. We're going to layer the front of our card um, and then on the inside stamp some of those adorable little... Um, fireflies. I almost call them dragonflies. They're fireflies. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is some splatter on our layers of our diorama. We're going to cut the diorama shapes from our Knight of Navy card base, as well as, let's see if I can get them, a piece of, well goodness, I can't get them out, a piece of um, Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. All right, so I'm gonna put these all down here and I'm gonna get a little bowl. I've got my white craft ink reinker and I'm just gonna put a little bit down here in this bowl like this. And I'm gonna take my water painter, squeeze some water in there and then kind of stir it around. Might need a little more water like that. Okay, so now to splatter, I'm gonna take my finger and just tap, tap, tap all over. Tap, 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 as many taps as you want to kind of create that night sky. All right, make sure you protect your surface because you're gonna have splatters everywhere. All right, while we wait for those to dry, let's do some other stamping and some die cutting. We're gonna stamp each of our fireflies. We've got small, medium, and large. We're gonna stamp them each in Starry Sky ink on basic white cardstock, okay? And then we're gonna add a little Daffodil Delight circle to their little light up ends. We've got this little circle stamp right here and I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and I'm just gonna stamp, 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 okay? Now let's stamp our branch. We need to stamp it twice. And we're gonna stamp our branch in shaded spruce. So once and twice. All right, but now when we bring over our cut and emboss machine, there's something else that we're going to need to cut out, and that is our lantern. We're gonna actually cut out two lanterns to make it a little bit stronger. I have my adhesive sheets here, and I'm going to put an adhesive sheet on the back of one of these basic black pieces. That's gonna help it help us attach it to the other one. All right, so I've just put that on the back like that, and we're gonna cut the lantern out of both of them, and then we'll stick them together. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we'll start, let's see how much we can get added to our plate. We will start with our lantern. The lantern is just such a cute die. All right, let's add that branch die right there. We'll have to run that one through twice since we only have one die and we've stamped it twice. And then we've got a die for each of our little fireflies. Now you wanna look at the top and the bottom of your dies to make sure you've got the antenna and then the, the wings both and the back side, the bottom, in your die. Got to kind of get real precise here. All right, while we have our cut and emboss machine here, let's cut out our pieces. I think I've given them enough time to dry. Now we're going to start, let's look and see which sizes I used. Um, we're going to start, we want it to get smaller and bigger. Let's see, I think that's about right for the Orchid Oasis. We want it to get 
go from smallest to biggest. So we've got the Orchid Oasis and then, so that would be the third one that I've used. Then the set, the next one will be for the um, Starry Sky. And then this one will be for the inside of our actual card front. So I'm gonna put that right there. And we're gonna cut that out. Okay, and let's see, I wanna put it in a safe spot. Now we'll do the next layer right here on our starry sky. And our last layer is our top layer, and that's our Orchid Oasis. All right, I think we can move our cut and emboss machine out of the way. And we'll bring these over and let's see how they're going to look layered up. Oh yes, very nice. All right, we're gonna use lots of dimensionals here. <clears throat> and for sure, you're gonna to wanna to put them in the corners. The, these pieces are the exact same as your card front, so four by five and a fourth. I'm sorry, four and a fourth by five and a half. You guys, I have a supply sheet on my blog that will have all the exact measurements and supplies listed for you. Because when I try to, to rattle them off, off the top of my head, I get them wrong every time. So trust my PDF, not me. Okay, and now we'll put this one right there. Let's see, how do we want it? Do we want it like that? Yeah, I think that's better. Isn't that so fun? All right, now for the inside, I've got a piece of basic white. Let's go ahead and put that in there and then we'll stamp our sentiment through the hole. So it's nice and centered. Actually, we're gonna move it over to the left just a little bit so we have room for our lantern. You are all kinds of wonderful. So we'll put that right there. All right, and I did that in Starry Sky. Now let's get all of our little pieces. Remember, one of them has, one of our lanterns has adhesive sheet on the back. So that has turned it into a sticker. And if you have these nails like I do, you might wanna use your take your pick tool or your paper snips to get that backing started. They look pretty, but they sure are difficult to use, these nails. They're a little bit longer than I wanted. All right, now I tore that a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna put that together here and you won't be able to tell. All right, so very carefully line this up with the back piece and squish them, smush them together. And now you have a lantern that is just a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier. All right, so I'm gonna take some adhesive, some glue, and I'm gonna put that right over here, okay? And now let's get our branches. I think I'm gonna use glue also for these. I'm gonna put one up here, whoops. A little bit of a glue on the back. And then this one we're gonna tuck down in a little bit further you might need to cut the bottom of it off like that. There we go, the bottom tucked in, good. All right now for our little fireflies. Let's put dimensionals on the back and we'll put one right here and we'll put one 
right here. And then this guy is going to need a mini dimensional because he is so tiny. And we'll put that one up there. Now for the inside, we need to make that little glow right there. So I have a um, one of our small blending brushes and I'm just going to put a circle right there so it looks like it's coming from the lantern right and then let's add a couple more fireflies on the inside let's do one there one there one there and then we can get our little tiny firefly and let's do that one there and maybe right there okay we got to add our little glow to them. Oops. All right. Now let's embellish just a little bit. Get your wink of Stella. And let's add wink of Stella. Let me make sure my wink of Stella is clean. Let's add a little bit of wink of Stella to each of those fireflies as well as our little glow of our lantern all right last but not least we're going to make a, a little bow and we'll use a mini glue dot for this and put that right there and there you have it a really beautiful kind of over the top lighting the way card for you now remember click the link here on youtube go back to my blog i've got a free pdf as well as two more lighting the way cards thanks everybody bye bye